Good morning, good day, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at, YouTube and forums. I just completed my portable power center. Now, any good project is going to make a mess. And of course, things are a mess around here, but I just finished this. Okay, so what is this? This is a portable power center for emergencies, for camping, for prepping, whatever and wherever you need power. In the bottom of this enclosure is 32 amp per hour lithium batteries. They're individual cells that I had to wire it up so it's a lot bigger than what lithium would normally have to take up but in order to ensure there was plenty of space between the four cells because this is a 4s setup 4s 4p setup uh, so yes there are a total of 16 lithium cells down here that are eight amp per hour each uh, but in order to make it so i was comfortable with it i wanted them spaced apart by a good bit and so hence the size anyway so it starts with the lithium battery bank. There is a daily 200 amp BMS located inside that you can't see. I do have an EP Ever Tracer. This is a 10 amp model MPPT solar charge controller. That cord there is to connect the solar panel directly up to. So yes, it does have solar charging with a good MPPT charge controller. Over here, you've got your 12 volt cigarette lighter power outlet. Then you've got five volt USBs, one amp and two and a half amp outputs. And then the volt gauge, which is currently at 13.9 volts. I do have a radio in here that is Bluetooth capable. It does have an auxiliary input as well and cordless remote. On the top of this is a DeWalt 1000 watt power inverter. This is not a pure wave sign inverter. This is a modified sign inverter. But, hey, for what it is, I think it's gonna work really good. Has your wattage output on it. Display is kind of flaky at times, but with 220 volt outlets, light over here so it's easier to see, there they are. This here, is nothing more than just an outlet for the fan. Yes, I did put a built-in fan in here. I want to turn this around. Now you can see the back side, which has two four-inch mids, mid-woofers, I guess you could say, and two paper tweeters. Nothing right home about, but hey, you got two other speaker outputs and the switch in the center is power on and off for the radio USB yeah the radio and the USB outlets the power outlet 12 volt power outlet on the other side as well as the power inverter are hooked up to constant power they can run regardless of the switches position So as we continue to rotate it, see, so yeah, still got to paint little areas here and there. Not finished quite yet. So there is your fan air intake. Yeah, it's not the quietest fan in the world, but it's a 12 volt quarter of an amp fan. I believe it 
pushes about somewhere between 10 to 20 CFM, which is more than enough for this setup. This is your radio antenna. And that's it. I do have feet on the bottom. Small feet, but feet nonetheless. And it's not painted down there yet either. Like I say, I just finished this. So, there is my portable power center. All wired up and ready to go. Uh, some specs on these batteries. If the batteries were fully charged, then this system would have a sitting voltage of about 16 volts on the high end. On the low end, 10 volts. The BMS will not allow it to go that high or that low though. So on the low end, I believe the low end cutoff of the BMS is 10.5 volts. And with the chargers that I have here, I can only get the batteries to go up to 14 and a half volts. Um, this particular MPPT charge controller does not have a setting to adjust the voltage, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would set it instead of about 14.3 volts, which I believe is where it's at right now, 14.3 or 14.5, I would set it up to about 14.9. But regardless, it's all built. It's all together and yeah it's a little hefty but it's lighter than a normal power inverter I mean a generator and technically it is still portable so there we go what do y'all think tell me what I could do to improve or change um, appreciate it this is 91 cab GT signing out